Hi, this is Richard Byrne from freetechforteachers.com and today I want to show you a couple of the new features of Socrative. Socrative is my favorite tool for collecting feedback from students both in anonymous formats and in formats where students have to enter their names. So the first thing I want to take a look at is adding an image to a quiz. So to do this, let's go into manage quizzes and we're going to create a new quiz here. We'll just call this my sample mountain quiz. I have enabled sharing, which means that when I'm done creating this quiz, I'll be able to share it with other teachers. Now let's make a multiple choice quiz. So question one here will be identify this mountain. And now I'm going to add an image to the question. So let's choose a file from my desktop. I have a picture here. We're going to load that image and now it's been some answer choices. We might say K2, Everest, Washington, or Olympus. And again, just as I could do before, I can put in an explanation of the correct answer choice. And I'm only going to do one question on this quiz, so let's save it. I can go back and add more questions later if I like. There's the sharing number for my quiz, so I can share that with other teachers who use Socrative and they can grab that quiz code and use the quiz themselves. Now I'm going to go back into my main screen and we're going to create another quiz and in this case we're going to create a quiz that will be self-graded. A short answer quiz that will be self-graded. So again, back in my home screen as a teacher, I'm going to go to Manage Quizzes. I'm going to create a new quiz. I'm going to call this Sample Mountain Quiz 3. We'll make this one a short answer question. Again, I can add images. So let's say identify this mountain. We'll add an image. Let's pull in the image I have stored. And now I'm going to put in my answer choices. Now, again, this is not a multiple choice question, so students aren't going to see these answer choices. But I'm going to put in these answer choices because that's what the grading will be based on. So in this case, I might say Mount Everest. I might spell it MT Everest, Everest, or perhaps Chomolungma. So I'm trying to anticipate the possible ways that students would answer this question and still be correct because Mount Everest, MT Everest, Everest, or Chumalungma will all be correct answer. So if a student puts in one of those four, they'll get credit for it. Again, I can put in an explanation if I want, and I'm done with this one question quiz. I could, as you can see, I could add more, more questions here, but I'm not. Again, there's the code for sharing the quiz and I'm done. And so now when a student takes the short answer quiz or the multiple choice quiz, they'll be able to get instant feedback and I'll be able to uh, download a report of their grades when they're completed. So those are the two new features in Socrative that I think everyone will enjoy. Give them a try today.